This is the Pioneer L5 system with the optional cassette deck and it has a swiveling display. Isn't that lovely? That's probably one of the main reasons people bought the system, but the display isn't as informative as you'd think at first glance. And I don't know about you, but in my opinion this stereo set is quite ugly. For some reason I place them on top of each other, next to each other it looks nicer. But let's try and do a little demonstration of the CD player. Which is of course not working. As usual with these old devices the CD player never works. But some brute force usually helps. There we are. Oh. Yes, there we are. Let's place that CD that you can still not buy. And hope that it works. Which it doesn't, as always with these old devices. The only reason I bought this device was because of the display. I ended up using only one shot of the display in my VFD video. I guess that's why I make this video now. Yet another bitter, bitter disappointment. And now it doesn't want to close anymore. But again, brute force to the rescue. The remote is also very interesting, small and also very ugly and unclear. And you can use the remote to swivel the display into your desired position. I mean, if you see that in a hi-fi shop in the late 90s, you want it, right? Yeah, and that's, that's all there is to say about it, I'm afraid. Let's see if the cassette deck is still working without sound because I don't have the speakers with it. But it's all about the mechanical motion of analog equipment, isn't it? I guess that's why people buy Nakamichi cassette decks for like $10,000. Are you crazy? What are you doing? Digital sounds better. Sorry, sorry. The cassette mechanism takes forever to change its position. Typical auto reverse noises. These six icons on the on the bottom, they are always on. Why? If one of them is active, uh, I think a stripe above it lights up as well. Instead of just leaving it off and only on when it's actually active. It's really weird. And you cannot see the bass and treble position. You cannot see it, only if you change it. So it looks like it's a really big informative display. But it's actually the opposite almost. Ridiculous. But it has one more trick up its sleeve. Let's see when that appears here. Yeah, you can dim the display, but that's not what I was about. You can invert the display. The, only the top, the top thing you can invert. 
There we are, inverted. And back, and inverted again. Actually, I think this is the normal position, and this is the inverted position. And this is the normal position again. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this was the blue age. But it doesn't even have a blue LED. Maybe it was just ahead of that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, a remarkable pioneer device from the late 90s. We're nearing the end of the video. And with it, I would like to apologize for my even more Dutch than usual accent. That's because it's unscripted, of course. Well, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video, although I strongly doubt it, because this isn't exactly uh, quality content, is it?